The Piscord Bible, Book 2, Book of Blood. Now these are the names of the greatest crimsons which came into the Piscord. Every man contributed great memes and content. Merles, Gondam, Java Bolt, Bagels, Alley Cat, Scuzzy, Cernus, P.I. and Mirror, 1488. The Crimsons were forced to serve the moderators and in some cases send them private nudes upon threat of ban or a week-long time out. They made their lives worse than hell. The greatest Crimson among them had an epiphany when receiving his weekly solo massage. It was in that moment that Merles knew it was his duty to lead his persecuted people to a new promised land. He refused the happy ending because he became low T in his late twenties. On his homeward journey from the Asian massage establishment, he stopped to fill up with gas. A black man approached him looking for a handout. The day was Juneteenth. Merles removed the gas nozzle from his car and doused the man, reached into his suit, and set the man on fire. The burning man's screams spoke to Merles and provided him with guidance. To his amazement, the fire dissipated and the man was unburnt. The Crimsons gathered in V.C., for their monthly chat. Derpy entered, muted per usual, likely jelking, perhaps shaving. Derpy, I speak on the authority of Pisco 95. Let my people go! But he would not yield and kicked Merles from the chat. We should fight back with great slurs, encouraged Java Bolt. Just the other day, I accidentally called the grocer a fag when all I wanted was a bag. Slurs have always been our greatest weapon. But the Crimsons would not resort to the slurs of the moderators. Bagels, can you turn the moderators into demons? inquired Merles his face red from having just eaten a spicy beef jerky. But alas, he could not, as Catholic miracles have all but faded into history. P.I. spoke up through his dog water mic. We could make an interesting legal argument and convince them on the merits of our complaints. Silence followed, and Mirror, 1488, disconnected from the call, and join the evil mods. We could trick them into the ocean and eat them, suggested Scuzzy. But the moderators were all very fat and ugly and would never enter the water. All the ideas came from a noble heart, and while they were not workable, they served their purpose as they inspired Merle's. It was time for him to use his Indian accent once and for all but he knew it must be used at the right place at the right time. Nearly a fortnight later, the boys were playing Fortnite, and not a single slur was uttered as the floppers were boxed and the bots were butchered. The Crimsons once again started the VC, and the evil mods joined in. After four hours, the average blood alcohol level was .23, despite only two people drinking. In the middle of one of Derpy's sexist rants against Nigerian Gus, Merles brought it out. To this day, no one remembers what he even said, but they described it as sounding like J.D. Vance's wife, as Merles at times sounded very effeminate. Derpy thought an actual Indian woman was speaking, and in his typical drunken state, he unleashed the biggest, most sexist, and deeply racist rant against women and Indian women. 
It was after this night that Derby was exiled from the Piss Court. The Crimsons were granted access to a new safe zone, the Crimson Cove, and the moderators were forced to sign pledges to refrain from grooming and soliciting nudes from server members. A period of relative peace fell over the server for a few months until Derby paid Pisco $1,000 to come back. <laughs>